Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Tampa Honda, of course, in Tampa, Florida. And guess what? We have a truck that many of you have been asking for. This is the majorly updated new 2021 Honda Ridgeline. This particular one is a sport trim and it's featuring, as you can see, a package that's brand new for 2021. This is the HPD package. But before we get into this midsize truck from Honda, let's talk about what's going on here, the Ridgeline. It's been around since 2006, if you could believe that. We're technically in the third generation. And what's interesting is that the Ridgeline, when it first came out, I remember, it made such a big splash in the truck community because there was, quite frankly, some features that people have never, ever seen on a pickup truck. Well, fast forward to the 21st century, Honda knows that the Ridgeline, some people have been giving it a bad rap because of the way that it drives, the way that it rides, maybe even the way that it looks. But for 2021, they've made some major updates, some major changes that I think is really gonna push this to the forefront of the midsize truck segment. A lot of times when people are looking for a truck, they think that they want what many would consider a traditional pickup truck, but this Ridgeline may be the best way to go. So let's go ahead, let's find out, has Honda done it? Have they tweaked the Ridgeline to bring it to the top of the mid-size truck segment? And is this the best one yet? Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, it's gonna hit you like a ton of bricks. There's some new changes right at the front end of the business. Now you see the A-pillar, everything forward of the A-pillar. And the A-pillar is that part of the body that's going up towards into the roof line that's all fresh for 2021. So you're gonna get all new headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and your LED headlights. Nice style. I like the way they kind of wrapped it around, gave it a lot of design element there. And especially for most of the headlight housing, it's blacked out on the interior. Now, this being an HBD trim package, that stands for Honda Performance Development. So what you're gonna get is a unique front fascia area, the bumper, the grill, the whole nine yards. So I love the massive side air curtains that we have to channel that air down the side of the 2021 Ridgeline. Of course, you're gonna get exterior lighting down below and even functionality from this corner vent near the middle of the bumper as well. So you're getting a lot of functionality. I like the flat black. I think that that's gonna take a better beating than if this was just all painted front bumper or gloss black. Looking good so far. As we come across the grill, this is where you're gonna see some more changes. So this is a unique grill for the HPD package. I like the way it's all open, nice flat black. You got the Honda badge in the center. And that's one of the things that Honda really focused on with this 2021 Ridgeline was giving it a little bit more of a muscular look because to be quite frank, people were calling this like a, like a, a CRV or a Honda Pilot El Camino where it looks like a front of a Pilot or a CRV and then you got the pickup bed added to it like the old Chevy El Caminos. They definitely, for 2021, have made it more aggressive on the front end. Now, as we drop down, you're gonna have this massive opening in the lower portion of the grill, and then you have this metallic dark gray color that's been added to the simulated skid plate. Now, new for 2021, all ridge lines come with all-wheel drive. So you're gonna be getting power to the ground, all four wheels, which is gonna give you that better grip that you want. But you can see the changes definitely have given it that more muscular look. Now, when we get up onto the hood, one thing I have to zonk right away is I'm not digging what they've done with the design here. There's a gap between the hood and the top portion of the front fascia. It seems like the hood is open. I promise you we've opened it and closed it a couple times. This is actually how it's meant to look. I'm not really in love with it but I do love the rest of the front fascia. Now, when we get up onto this hood, it is all new for 2021. You have a nice rise, and then it kind of curves away towards those A pillars, because like I said, everything A pillar forward is new. Now, as we come around the bend, a major change for the HPD package is you're gonna get, of course, these updated side fender flares, flat black. I like the way it extends off from the side of the vehicle, and these bronze wheels. It makes it look like a, almost like a beadlock off-road style wheel, but I do like the bronze, especially with the black uh, Ridgeline Sport that we have. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this thing? This is an 18 inch wheel, and you're looking at 245 on the width 
and then you're gonna have a meaty 60s series sidewall. You can see how you get a little bit more of an off-road style tire. You can see on the sidewall, a little bit more aggressive from Firestone, but I do like the bronze. You got the HPD logo in the center there, the black uh, lug nuts, which is really nice. And then you're gonna get a nice amount of space between the top of the tire and the inside of those new fenders because there's the A pillar, everything forward is new. And if you're asking me why do I keep repeating that? Because just to make sure that everybody is picking up what I'm putting down. Now, as we go down the side, they take the color of the vehicle, bring it out onto the side mirror caps, flat black top and bottom of the window frames. And then you'll notice how that new fender flare goes into the lower sill, remaining all flat black as we work our way towards the rear of the cab into the actual bed. Now remember, this bed is an SMC composite, which is gonna make it more durable and help cut down on some of the weight. The little tiny details, how they kind of notch out that fender flare to allow you access to the fuel filler door. And then once again, you can see just how much room we have from the top of the tire to the inside of the fender. Now, one of the big touches you're gonna get with the HPD package is gonna be the Honda Performance Development graphics. I like the flat black, that bronze color, looking sharp. And then as we wrap around to the back, the tailgate area, you're also gonna get some new touches. You have the HPD badge, very classy looking badge with the checkered flag there. So this is a sport. All of them are coming all wheel drive. Down below, you have a very, very tasteful exhaust. One exhaust pipe on each side, nice round cut, aluminum tip on it. You got your full towing capability. And just like on ridge lines from the early beginning, look what we have. You could put down your tailgate just the way you see it. And you could actually put up to 300 pounds on this tailgate, or you could open up your tailgate just like that. And as we have the tailgate open, I'm gonna swing around Lori here to showcase another feature that was a Honda first. Of course, we have that over seven cubic feet of space storage. You could actually turn this into a cooler. You have a drain plug in there. There's your spare, there's your jack. That's gonna allow you that flexibility with this truck. You're not gonna get with any other truck. And the best news is it's lockable. Now this one does not have it, but you can get optional in bed speaker sound system. It was the first ever in a pickup truck, much better than what you could get with the GMCs because they put the speakers actually in the tailgate and they have that folding tailgate, which increases the chances of you kicking one of those speakers. So I kind of like the setup better on a Honda Ridgeline, but why don't we pop the hood and see what's powering this pickup truck. All right guys, we got the hood popped. I am gonna zonk, we do have a prop rod it would be nice to have the hydraulic hood struts. And underneath the hood, not the sexiest of engine covers by far, but the great news is you're getting a tried and true power plant. It's that 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 that equates to 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a nine-speed automatic transmission. And like I mentioned earlier, you're getting that standard all-wheel drive. Now, the great news about the all-wheel drive is that it could transfer up to 70% of the power to the rear wheels. You got torque vectoring. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what can I pull and haul with this truck? Because I need to use my truck for work purposes. Payload, 1,580 pounds. Towing capacity, 5,000 pounds. And MPGs, 18 in the city, 24 on the highway. I think it's smart for Honda to have that one power plant it's unique enough, naturally aspirated, especially when you look at some of the competition moving to turbo power or even diesel power. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what the Ridgeline is bringing to the table. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 Honda Ridgeline Sport Trim with the HPD package. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been one of those people waiting. I've been looking at the midsize trucks, lots to choose from, really have been curious about this. I'm liking it so far. How much is it? MSRP for the way that you see this one optioned is right at $40,000. The HPD package itself is $2,800. That's the wheels, the grill, the front fascia, the side fender flares, and then of course the badging and whatnot. So let's see what else you get 
for your money to the door panels. I like the simplicity and the versatility of the door panels. You have nice soft touch material up top. There's a little bit of this um, silver gunmetal gray uh, trim that kind of separates the, the black material from the top and the midsection. Everything in the midsection is soft touch, which is wonderful, including the armrest, some white contrast stitching. You'll notice that you have a Twinkie tray there. You could put your two Twinkies. I wouldn't put another one. And you have a place for a bottle of milk. The actual door pocket on the bottom is very tight. So maybe four tacos from Taco Bell. Don't go crazy on the salsa. Now, when you go to the dash, soft, soft touch material, you have a seven speaker audio sound system. There's more of that gunmetal gray finish. You have that easy to use eight inch infotainment system. Is it a touch screen? Of course it's a touch screen. You could go into your home features, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, very easy to navigate through, which is great news. Let me show you the backup camera. There is your backup camera with trajectory. And then of course, you're also able to adjust the camera angle, which is nice as well on the Ridgeline. We'll put it back in the park. Don't be afraid of the slant. It actually does not have a lot of glare when you're driving it around. There's a not much gloss black, to be honest with you. You got your AC vents, good placement, that start stop button. We're gonna have dual climate control and you can control the rear AC as well. And then check this out. They actually have a radius ride setting, setting. So if you need to adjust your radius ride settings on YouTube, you don't have to go on your phone. You could do it right here in the Ridgeline. Really nice to have that feature. We have another nice tray here. Now this tray, I would probably put maybe some atomic fireballs, some breath mints, uh, maybe even a, a bag of big league chew as you're driving around. Relive your high school days when you were a baseball stud. We have another nice little cubby area down here. I would say probably two Snickers and a package of Twix. You're good to go. 12 volt. open up door number two. We have a USB, which is a very nice touch. Easy to get to. Two cup holders. There's more of that gunmetal gray finish. You got your push button transmission for that nine speed automatic, which is wonderful. And then I'll show you what this little truck button does when you come over to the business end. Key fob, standard issue, Honda key fob, nothing wrong with it, still looking good, nice weight. And then you got your remote start on the back. And then one of the things I'm not a big fan of personally, but I do understand it because it frees up a lot of room, is there's no actual center console armrest. You have the captain style chairs armrest. The only problem is they're kind of narrow. I prefer more an armrest over here. But the great news is if you have a purse, a sack, a satchel, a bag of rocks, you could just place it right on top of this lid. Open up the lid. What do we have? Zazarus Landa, one of our Radies Rise Patreon members, left us a box of Twinkies. And that's the perfect amount of room that you have. You could actually put two boxes of Twinkies in here and you have a 12 volt and another USB. So they got you covered when it comes to storage. And then you could close that bad boy up. Seats, yes, your passenger has a captain's chair style armrest as well. And I'm liking the fabric. The design looks tasteful. It's very grippy. It feels like it's gonna wear like a champ. The stitch work is great. Manual assist for the passenger and the driver. And when it comes to headroom, plenty of headroom. It's like good and plenty. I want a big box of good and plenty right about now. Plenty of headroom. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you around the steering wheel and what's going on with the gauges on our 2021 Ridgeline. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel of the Ridgeline. I like the large size door opening. It's very easy to get in and out of. You do have manual seat controls, but they're very easy to use and pretty much quick to get to fit to your body type. The seats are so comfortable. You do have some buttons over here for controlling, obviously, your electric mirrors. We got our Honda sensing technology that we could turn on and off. And then we have, of course, the cargo light and an econ button. So if you failed economics in high school, hit this and that automatically replaces your transcript with an A. Or what it really does, it gives you a little bit better gas and fuel economy, which is nice. Steering wheel, it is that rubber style, but this is a sport trim. You go higher up the trim levels, there's four of them. You can get leather. I do like the way the buttons are laid out. A little bit of that gunmetal gray finish on the actual steering wheel. And you do have paddles on the back of the wheel as well to go up and down that nine speed automatic. Dash, straightforward, simple, and to the point. You have an analog tack, analog coolant and fuel gauge, digital speedometer up top, and then you have that digital display that watch when I hit the truck button, we have our different intelligent traction management modes, normal, snow, 
mud, and sand. That's going to give you that flexibility that you need no matter where you're driving your ridge line. Other than that, I love the space. Let's get to the back seat and see how this stacks up against the competition. All right, guys, back seat time in the Honda Ridge Line. And here's another piece of that technology, I guess, if you want to call it that, or versatility that Honda has brought to the table with that 60 40 folding split. I have the 60% folded up. You can see all the great room. The seat that I'm sitting on will also fold up. I love the, these all-weather floor mats to protect every square inch of the flooring. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, how do we put the seats down? It's real simple. You're just going to lift on that lever. Bam. Locks in. And now you have that flexibility. For a mid-sized truck, this has a lot of room back here. Backs of the seats, all uh, cloth material. You do have a great size pocket back here. So if you need to put some wrenches, a hammer, maybe a socket set, socket to it and just slide it right in there. You do have your rear AC and two trays where you could see you could fit one Twinkie and that's about it. When it comes to overall room though, like I said, they nailed it. When you look at the competition, they nailed the back seat space back here. Plus armrest, two cup holders. If you don't want your Twinkie down there, just put it right there. There you go. Ready to rock and roll? Why don't we go ahead? If you're ready to rock and roll, I'm definitely to go on throttle. Let's take this Ridgeline for a spin. All right, guys. We're in the 2021 Honda Ridgeline. Right away, you just feel very, very comfortable. If you've been in other Honda vehicles, you feel right at home with how everything is laid out very, very smartly. You have all those different cubby areas, for all different types of storage items. And then, like I showed you before, you have that mode selector knob, or I should say button, to go through the different modes in that all-wheel drive. Obviously, for this particular drive, we're just gonna leave it in normal, but visibility out the front is great. The way that this Ridgeline drives, it does not drive like any other truck. And, and that's a good thing, I really think. It does not beat you up. And, when it comes to that very smart placement of certain things like the rear cargo bed area uh, storage or cooler, uh, how you have that dual action tailgate, that's where it's separating itself from the rest of the trucks. Getting to the infotainment, just like always, uh, is very easy to do. The gauges are, are super clean, super laid out in an in easy to glance format. And I, I really like that about the truck. Um, it's one thing to be driving any vehicle and have to search and hunt with your eyes on you know, what, what you wanna be doing and, and where you wanna be at at that given moment. I'm gonna go ahead, you hit the drive button again, and that's gonna put us into sport mode. You do have a sport mode in here, kinda adjust the way the transmission and the engine behaves. Seats are comfy. I'm just not, like I said, the biggest fan of these uh, captain's chair seats. And it would be nice uh, to, to see this truck with ventilated seats, with heated seats. But at this price point, you, you don't get those things. Driving this Honda Ridgeline really, it, it really separates itself very, very well from the rest of the competition. And I've been in a lot of the competition, actually all of them. And this one definitely drives the best on the road. And having so much room inside the cabin, this is why I, I say that a lot of people, you know, they want a truck, but to live with a truck day in and day out is a little bit different experience, especially in the midsize segment. Full size, it's a different story. Um, and if you're not gonna use it that often, I get it. But on an every day to day basis, this truck is so easy to drive, it's ridiculous. Plus, in a good way, plus you're getting all the other touches that you want and that great Honda reliability. All right, guys, I definitely wanted to get the new Ridgeline out onto the highway. You know, we have those 18 inch wheels. We have a little bit more off-road focused tire with the HBD package, but still rides very, very smooth. And you'll see once we get up to speed, that uh, this truck really is a joy to drive on the highway or really any situation, no matter what. Plus, I'm digging the black 
with the bronze. It, it really pops in a great way to where it's not too obnoxious, but just enough to where it separates itself from the rest of the crowd. But going over the expansion joints, very smooth, very controllable. You got the all wheel drive, 70% of that power getting to the rear. Really just a smooth truck to drive. All right, guys, here we go. I throttle. On the brakes, into this right-hand bend. Nice, that was nice. So definitely what I'm finding is, is that you're gonna get some of that great driving dynamic that Honda pumps into all their vehicles. Very nice en engagement from the steering. I feel like I'm connected to the front wheels and I was able to feel that torque being delivered to the rear, especially as I came around the bend and got on back on throttle. All right guys, I want to do an acceleration test from a dead stop. On throttle, here we go. Smooth shifts from the nine speed. Really handles well for a truck. Look at this. Nice. So definitely the all wheel drive system works very effectively in this 2021 Ridgeline. I had it in that sport mode. That's why it's holding on to that gear to keep the revs a little higher. I hit drive again and it goes right back into normal drive mode. So that is the nice options that you have with this and that flexibility of it. Now, you do have that pesky start-stop feature when you're in regular drive mode, which you could deactivate just by the press of a button. But uh, happy to see the direction that Honda has taken the Ridgeline in. And like I said, for people that need that truck space but don't necessarily know or maybe they do know that they don't really want a truck the way it drives this definitely is a huge option but we're going to go ahead and get back to tampa honda wrap this one up so i'll see you in a split second all right guys been another great day here at tampa honda i definitely got to thank sam and the rest of the crew getting us their very first honda ridgeline for 2021 i think that the changes that honda has made has really separated it from the previous model year and the previous generation. And I really think that, like I said, those that could get past what other people think about them, this is definitely gonna be a truck you wanna add to your list. If you're looking for that midsize, that's gonna be great on an all day, every day, 365 day roundabout experience. But if you wanna keep seeing midsize trucks on Rady's Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, there's two ways you could do it. Click the first link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Click the second link and become a Radies Rides Patreon member. We gotta give it up to the videographer of the year on YouTube, my wonderful wife, Lori, doing the business out here in the Florida sun. Show her some love in the comment section. She's busting her butt. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.